Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Expedition. And in today's episode, I think it is time that we prepare for and embark on a great adventure. I think it is time, my friends, to head to the end. Uh, so, we've got a little bit of preparation that we need to do first, though. Uh, is it like that? There we go. I'd like to make an octatic capacitor that we can throw in our alloy smelter here, just to speed up the rate at, at which it processes stuff, because there's going to be some pretty crazy things that we need to make uh, before we go. I've got plenty of Eyes of Ender. I cooked up, uh, or made, I crafted two stacks of them, which should be more than enough for us to find the stronghold, but I also would like to get some better gear going uh, before we get to that point. Is this thing still filling up? It is. Good, 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 good. Okay, so I'm cooking up some Electrum right now, um, and I want to use that to make Flux-infused armor. I think we are long overdue for some endgame armor. I've been kind of putting it off for a while, uh, so I think it's time. Let's put that there. And that should empty this thing out. Good. Okay. And now we need... Um, let's... How much is... How much does that hold? 8,000? That's not that much. Maybe we're better off upgrading that because we've got the 8,000 one. Doesn't take much to, up it, to bump that up to 32. Why don't we do that? Why don't we upgrade this tank? Uh, because there's... There's some things that definitely go into making um, flux-infused armor. There's there's some steps to it, for sure. So, let's go ahead and make a hardened one, and then if I want to upgrade that to reinforced, what do I need? Hardened glass, fused quartz, something along those lines? Okay. Well, I've actually got plenty of hardened glass, so why don't we go ahead and upgrade that up to the reinforced. That'll hold an insane amount, and that should meet our needs nicely. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plop this guy right here, and then, uh, is that right? Yes. And then we're going to go ahead and drop some blocks of redstone in here, and that is going to turn into destabilized redstone, which we need for making these, this fluxed armor plating. We're going to need it for the uh, ingots because this Electrum Blend is basically destabilized redstone being combined with uh, that stuff. Do I have a fluid transposer? I just realized that. I don't know that I do. Just looking around induction smelter. We may not actually have a fluid transposer. Really? No, there's no way I don't have a fluid transposer. I'm sure I do somewhere. Hmm. We'll go peek. Maybe I put it away. Maybe I put it into our uh, our modded storage over here. Let's just do a search for flu. I really don't have a fluid transposer. How have I gone this long without making a fluid transposer? They're not that difficult to make. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and make ourselves a fluid transposer then, I guess. No idea why why it's this, l it's this late in the game and I haven't made one yet, but that's okay. Um... So, let me get the stuff ready for this, and then I'll come back to you in just a second. Alright guys, I am back, and I was looking at a few different things, and I decided that it may be easier to make the stuff that we need in a different way. So, I'm going to stop making this uh, destabilized redstone, because there's a few different ways you can make it. You can make the, uh, the Electrum Blend and then put the Electrum Blend into an induction smelter with some pyrothium dust. That's one way to do it. Um, I think I might go the other direction, and that is to put Electrum, Redstone, and then pyrothium dust into an alloy smelter. I think that will probably ultimately end up being faster, um, but that means I do have to cook up a bunch of this pulverized coal uh, which isn't the end of the world. That's not that big of a deal. Um, now, a few other things to note as well. We're going to need some of these fluxed crystals, and those are going to need the destabilized redstone. So, let's see here. For 
We're going to need two of those for each of these fluxed armor plating. And for each of the fluxed armor plating, let's see. So we're going to need five plus eight would be 13 plus seven would be 20. We're going to need 24 of these guys, which means we're going to have to use 48 diamonds. 48 diamonds. That's a lot of diamonds. Um, it'll be fine. Because, really, it's something that's definitely worth spending the diamonds on. But still, that's a lot of diamonds. That is a massive amount of diamonds. So, um, and it also means that we don't... Uh, it, it also means that our fluid transposer here didn't go entirely to waste. So that's also good. Uh, let's go ahead and make that blue. There we go. We'll put our diamonds in here. We'll put our tank on top, grab a wrench, a oh, wrong button, and there we go. Now this thing will fill up, and it's going to start making those diamonds. Oh man, we're going to need a lot of those guys. <laughs> we're going to need so many, it's going to be absolutely insane. Um, but you know what, it'll be worth it, it'll be worth it. Because this armor, and we'll, we'll probably also make the bow as well. Maybe the sword? I'm not I'm not sold on the sword. I'm definitely sold on the bow, though. Because the bow is going to be better than just about anything else we have. And I think it can still be enchanted. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it can still be enchanted. Um, we're going to find out. <laughs> we're going to find out if it can be enchanted or not. I really don't know. Um, but... While we're waiting, let's go ahead and craft up some blazing pyrothium. We're going to need a bunch of it. So, there we go. And then we can throw this guy into here along with a whole bunch of redstone. And that should start making us... Oh, hello, Signalum. That should start making us these... Fluxed Electrum ingots. Uh, and we're going to need a bunch of those as well because we're going to need two of them for every one of these fluxed armor platings. And then when we get into the actual tools and things like that, we're going to need a bunch of those too. Oh, and we're going to need uh, obsidian rods. Okay, didn't think about that. That's okay. We'll still be fine. We'll be fine. It's okay. All right. So let me get some of this stuff crafted up, guys, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I think we're ready to start making at least our first couple pieces of armor. So, uh, and we're going to want to make these as we go because they're going to have to charge before they're entirely useful. So, let's go ahead and make six of these fluxed armor platings, and let's just start with the helmet. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll throw that guy into the energetic infuser, so it can charge up, because basically, as long as it has RF, it will absorb a massive amount of damage, and it will be way better than your standard armor. So, uh, that's kind of the plan, but it is going to take a while for all of these things to fill up all the way. Uh, and I think we are probably ready to make a couple more, maybe? Let's see. Next, we can make five more. Two more. Do we have... Oh, uh, I think we might be able to make another. Oh, what What am I missing? New. There, the things, we're, we're getting the things. What do I not have? Maybe I just didn't have enough diamonds. Maybe I only had the one diamond? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's eight. And that will get us the chest plate, which is pretty good. This guy is already fully charged, so we'll let him charge up as well. Each one of these will hold uh, 400,000 RF, which is a lot of RF and a lot of damage that it can absorb. But anyway, guys, I'm going to keep uh, crafting these things up, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and it's just finishing up. The boots are about halfway charged. This is just finishing up the last couple of diamonds. 
we're almost done with this suit of armor. Like, we're super, super close. We need one more fluxed armor plating, and then we'll have everything we need. Ooh, that was an accident. And then we'll have everything we need to make the full suit, and then we get to start working on the bow, I think. I think the bow is probably going to be um, the best thing for us to make next. So, let's make this. There we go. And then we'll just make the pants. And there we go. We now have a full suit of flux-plated armor. Or flux-infused armor, depending on... Same, same thing. Uh, now, I do need to make something else, and that is the flux-infused obsidian rod. Because if you look at the recipe for the bow, I'm going to need one of those. And then I need some string. And string I've got. String I've got plenty of. So it basically just comes down to this thing filling up and this thing finishing up. I don't think I need any more of these than what we've already got. So I think we'll be fine there. Hopefully that will then allow this thing to get power a bit faster so it can fill up. And then I think we'll be good to go. Let's go make the bow real quick. Uh, three string. One, two, three. Oh, come back string. Ah, whatever. We'll go there ingots and there we go flux infused bow now this thing i believe is capable of putting out some pretty crazy damage uh if it's empowered and you can empower the stuff by holding p uh or that's actually a hotkey i think by default it's v um but let's see is it P? P? P to empower? Maybe it needs... You know what? I bet it needs a charge first. Uh, let's actually grab our redstone flux capacitor here. Let, let this guy charge up. There we go. Now it's empowered. See how that works? And if you check, right now it would do uh, a reasonable amount of damage. Can this thing be enchanted? That's the other thing I should check. Can it? Oh, it can. Oh, oh, we can enchant. Okay, so I'm thinking we draw that out. We put this guy in here. We give it infinity. We give it unbreaking. Can it have unbreaking three? I'm thinking so. Flame. Sure, we'll give it flame. And... There we go. So now it's got Unbreaking 3, Flame 1, and Infinity 1 on it. That used a bunch of levels, but that's okay. Do I have Power 1, Power 2, Protection? Mm. You know what I should have done? Oh, can I enchant it again? That is a question. Oh, I can. So if I put Power in here... Oh, I can bump that up to Power 5... Right? Uh-huh. Yeah, now it's got power five on it. And then I can combine those. And that is a pretty solid bow. That thing will do crazy damage. So, let's grab... Oh, what? Do I have arrows? Oh, I do. I do. Okay, cool. I was gonna say, I have arrows? I didn't think I did. So, 80 RF per use does crazy damage because it has power everything. We can also go ahead and finish charging up our flux armor. And then I think we're about as ready to take on the end as we're going to be. I wish it told me how much damage this thing did, though. That's okay. Um, I'm confident that it will do plenty. So, I think we'll be good. All right, let me get everything organized. Let me finish charging up my stuff, guys. I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I think I've got everything as ready as I'm going to have it. Um, I decided not to wait until my, um, uh, my flux capacitor here charged all the way up to 4 million. It's up over 3 million. If that's not, if that's not enough RF, then something has gone horribly wrong. Uh, I should probably grab a stack of 
building blocks or two, though, before I go, just in case. Also grab some potions of healing, some golden apples, some of that kind of stuff as well, just in case it's needed. But I think it is time to head out and see if we can find this fortress. So let's see, nearest one, it says go this way. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, let's grab our ring of magnetization as well. It may come in handy. Okay. So, I have a feeling I'm going to be setting off this way, and I'm going to be going this way for quite a while, guys. Because if you look at our map, we are here. The world spawn point, I want to say, was like way elsewhere. I don't remember exactly where, but it was it was pretty far. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be traveling for a while, guys. I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. And I think we are closing in on where the the fortress is, or the stronghold is, I should say. It's got to be, like, right around here somewhere. Because it made me double back a second ago. So it's got to be right around here. Oh. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ooh, down here. Okay. So... Oh, hello, Blizz. Hi. Hi. Yes. Die. Okay. Okay. So, that has me going this way. I'm... Ooh. Oh, and there it is right there. All right. Cool. So, we found the stronghold. Ow. Can I hit him? Let's try out that bow. Look at that. That thing's amazing. All right. So, here's our here's our stronghold. This is fantastic. And there's all sorts of who mana creeper. Run away, run away, run away. All right, we're good. We're good. And there's actually all sorts of loot in here in these strongholds as well that uh we have not looked at yet. So, uh yeah, go away. Kill, kill all the things. Um, so we may find some pretty cool stuff in here as we're kind of looking around and exploring. Let's see. There's that, there's another one of those mana creepers. We'll just do away with him. Man, this bow is ridiculous. N not that I'm, that not in a bad way. Like, this bow is sweet. It's super powerful. Oh, hello. Um, can I get away from that? Yes. Yes, I can. And then there's these traps. Can I get up here safely? I don't know that I can. I can probably kind of loop my way around. I don't know, though. I mean, like, the generation of this fortress is a little derpy. Like, it's, it's kind of weird. But I think maybe we can get around... Oh, hello. Yeah, I think we can get out down here. Oh, here it is. Hello. Go away. Go away, thing. We're just gonna light this up. I don't know if silverfish are affected by light levels when they spawn. Um, really only one way to find out. We'll just light it up and who knows. But, let's go ahead and fill in the portal. And there we go. Check it out. We have reached the end. We've reached the stronghold. Life is good. I think I'm going to go ahead and... I brought a bed with me, didn't I? There it is. I think I'm going to go ahead and place this guy down right here. We'll wait for it to become night, uh, because I would really like to not. Be, have to run, like, all the way back here? Should I die? Which is quite possible. I mean, keep in mind, we do have Hardcore Ender expansion. I'm just gonna break that. I changed my mind. Uh, we do have Hardcore Ender expansion in here, and if I remember correctly, that does make the, end, the uh, Ender Dragon fight quite a bit harder than it is by default in vanilla. So, there is that as well. Let's just go ahead... 
put a crafting table there, and then I'm going to make just a chest real quick to put some junk in, stuff that I don't really need, things like that. I'll just dump all those in there. Um, I The rest of this stuff can pretty much come with me, I think. Armor's looking good. I think we're in good shape. But guys, I think that is where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. And next episode, we will head in to the end and take on the Ender Dragon. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.